All right, you guys, in this video today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to swap from these black mirror caps like this to painted ones like these on any 9907 GM truck, Chevy Silverado, Sierra, Tahoe, Suburban, whatever. So if your truck is like mine and that it didn't come with the painted to match mirror caps, I'm gonna show you guys how to swap them out. Um, this process, like I said, works for all 9907 GM trucks and here we go. All right, so some of the tools you'll need for this, you'll need a couple of panel poppers like these, or if you're a barbarian, you can use a screwdriver on this. I don't recommend it, but if you don't care, you can. So here's how I'm trying to do this one handed. I'm gonna get these off. So on the back of these, there's supposed to be four clips back here. You've got one over here, one here, one here, and one here. Now, the donor truck I got these off of were broken. So GM thought of this and that they put double-sided sticky tape on the edges. And I have some right here, it's by 3M. It's just some of the good stuff. You can buy this at any local auto parts store, anything like that. But you'll need a roll of this as well because I wanna put it back as to how it would've been factory. Now, one thing I need to mention before we begin, all this double-sided tape off your donor needs to be peeled off. You can use a razor blade or whatever need to make it look like this, otherwise it won't sit flush up against the mirror. So, take our little panel tool, come in here as best I can, try to find a, a break in the, in the, in the gap here. There we go. Just gonna gently, just pry around. And don't be afraid if you break yours, it's not gonna hurt anything because you're gonna throw these in the garbage anyway. And as you can see, that's how it comes out. It's obvious these have been off the truck before because all the tape is left on the mirror. Now I'm gonna take a knife or use my fingers and just peel all the double-sided tape off of here. And with this truck, given that I color matched the door handles, I color matched the front bumper and the grill, you know, I figured that the mirrors would match pretty good. This truck used to have black door handles on it and I just, I never liked them. Come on. Now, if you're doing this on your own truck to paint your caps, I don't really recommend it because there is a texture difference in these. This is like a like a rough brushed finish, I guess you'd call it, and this is smooth, so that can affect your painting surface if you are trying to paint this. This you'll have to sand it down smooth and start all over again, which I ain't got time for that. I found a, I think it was a 2004 Yukon at the junkyard that had those on it, and so I put them on. I'm gonna finish peeling the rest of this tape off and uh, be back with you guys in a second. All right, now that you've got all the tape peeled off your mirror, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a wet rag and come in here and just clean this up a little bit so when we put our 3M tape back on here, um, it'll stick properly. Now, the reason why you have to get this absolutely flush is because, it, I don't know what you guys could see back in there, but back in there, the motor that moves, because these are power mirrors, the motor that controls them is back there. And if you just throw this back together with no tape and just the clips holding it in, water can come in from the top and it can destroy the motor back here. It'll make your auto dim feature do all sorts of funky stuff. So make sure you clean it out. When you're putting the tape on, just follow where it used to go. You don't need to put on any more than that. The clips will hold it in. So I'm gonna clean that off, put the tape on, and I'll show you guys where to go from there. All right, now if you've painted your caps, you can skip this step, but I'm gonna go in, wash these off with a damp washcloth and uh, clean these up a little bit better. There's some bug guts in here and stuff like that. So we're gonna clean these up. We'll take all the red plastic off the tape and we'll show you guys how to put them on. Okay, now that you've spent the last three days peeling all the red protector or the red uh, plastic off the tape, you're gonna take your new mirror cap and you're gonna center it. Pop it on just like that. Now. What I'm gonna do to make sure that the tape adheres is I'm gonna put some painter's tape, some blue tape that goes around the top and over here to hold it on. And you've just successfully changed 
half the look of your truck. Not bad for basically free at the junkyard. Paid like $3 for them, I think, for both of them. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to stay tuned. We've got a lot more coming about this truck. I may do a video on it. And uh, when I go back to Texas this summer, we're going to do a part three on how to vortex swap a 1988 to 1995 GM TBI truck. I know I got a lot of questions about that. And when I go down this summer, we'll make a video about it. So y'all stay tuned for more and uh, leave any questions in the comments. Stay tuned for more. Later.